Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inessa and I am an indie author from Toronto, Canada and I publish under the pen name Indian Sage. I write fantasy, mystery, um, a lot of cozy stuff and I do a lot of planner videos on this channel. I am a huge planner junkie, a huge um, little planner nerd and I also really, really love to plot. Um, so I thought today it might be fun to do a little walkthrough of my plotting um, to go station. Um, it's kind of like a utility pouch that I have all of my plotting stuff in. Um, I do have a short that I did of this on this channel already. So if you want to watch just like a little short video of this, me just opening some of the things up, it's there. But um, today I think I want to do a more kind of thorough walkthrough of every single thing that's inside this plot planner. Um, now, what do I mean by a planning utility pouch? So normally I do work from home um, quite often. However, um, there are many times when I will do a share office or go to a coffee shop or something like that to work. And in times like this, if I am plotting a book, I need some supplies with me um, just to get myself organized. And it's better to have everything in one place than not to have it at all when you need it. So I got this little pouch. So um, this pouch, I found this on AliExpress. Um, and um, I think there's like a few other ones that you can find them on Etsy, I believe, too. Um, this has Kuromi on it. It's like my favorite little character. Um, I actually have like a little Funko Pop of her as well um but it's a utility pouch you can get other utility pouches. there's one that that is very popular it's not as hard material as this you can get them on amazon i believe and uh places like jet pen should carry them uh, but it is much more pricey this was a more affordable alternative so first and foremost some of the stuff i have on here i have a couple of um different pins that i like uh, from some of my favorite shops um, and this one was actually a pin that i was giving away as part of the giveaways for the launch of a grave roast i'll post that video somewhere in the cards or below if you want to watch the release party so i have some pins on the front just to make me smile um, and then there's a few pockets in this so there's one big pocket here which we'll walk through um, and then we have a few pockets on the front as well um, there's a few thin pockets for pants and then two kind of medium size one and a larger one so what do i have in these pen pockets so the first one is i have a little paper cutter this is a ceramic paper cutter so it's safer than just like a blade um, i have two different pens very themed a Koromi pen, they're gel pens, and then this fun little one where um, the bear actually clicks around when you turn it on and off. There's like a little um, dancing bear in there, and there are different colors of bears. So I don't know why that makes me happy, but it does. So I have two different um, gel pens, they're both black. Um, and this one here, I have a few color coded pens because I do like to color code um, if I have different POVs. If I don't have different POVs, I will color code when I edit or when I plot for things like pacing, structure, character development, things like that. Um, so I have a pen selection with um, a few different colors in it. And then I also have these um, Sadler um, unicorn colors and they're pretty much all in the same kind of family of colors um, because they're more basic and I usually use basic color coding systems. Um, now in this pocket here I'm going to take everything out and then we can kind of go through it and I'll put that just a bit aside here. So I have a couple of things that I might need. Um, I will probably never need this Harry Houdini holographic um, sticker, but this was another giveaway that I was doing for the launch and he just makes me so happy, so I keep him around. Um, I have two different washi strips. Um, in case I want to decorate, these are good for color coding as well. These are um, simply gilded washi bows um, and they're good for color coding because they've got four different base colors basically. Um, and these are more like witchy ones, which is more on brand, I guess. Um, then I have some color coded um, note cards that I have cut down to size. Um, these are uh, not all the note cards that I would have for a plot, but if I need to work something out, a scene or something, um, or if I need to work out where POVs go, I have these to work with um, on the go. Um, I also have these Erin Condren um, color dots. Um, I got these in a set. They're really good for just 
color coding in my plotting notebook. Um, I have a couple of notepads. There's a Harry Potter one um, from Stationery Pal, and then this one was part of a subscription with Sticky Club. And then I have a little clip in case I need it. Um, so that is in the front. There, these are more like, I guess, the decorative parts of my system when plotting. Um, now we get into the big section here. Um, this is a really great little um, utility pouch because it's got like this huge section. As you can see, the main thing that's in here is my plotting bullet journal. So this is where I do all my plotting. Um, I used to try different systems. I had different systems of trying to plot, but um, I find right now that the bullet journal is exactly what I need to kind of work through um, everything. And I have all my books as I plot them because sometimes I don't need as much space. Sometimes I need less. Um, like for Orchard Hollow, I kind of um, would need to plot out mostly like the murders and the victims and clues and ideas. Uh, but for something like Shadowverse, for example, I have more character arts because there are multiple people. So I like this system because I can kind of customize it to what I need. Um, and I love that it fits just absolutely perfectly inside this big pouch. Now, when you open this up, there's a big space and then there's another big giant kind of pocket in here. Um, and this is where I kind of throw a bunch of junk. So uh, junk that I might need. Um, so here's the other items I have in here. We have a two-tone, um, two-star correction tape. So this correction tape is great if you use different types of notebooks. You've got a more creamy color on the white so one side and then a white correction tape on the other. Um, this was from, hmm, I want to say from Jet Pens as well. I believe it was it? I, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But if you look up two-star correction tape, it'll pop up. They're everywhere. I have a little mini travel exacto knife over here. Um, it's a little tiny one. Um, it's good to have in case that ceramic cutter I showed you isn't doing the job. Um, if I have something thicker to cut, um, like if I'm cutting maybe those note cards, if I need to cut them down to a different size, then this is good to have. Um, I have this Hobonichi Techo from 2021 Uni Pen, and it's got three different colors, black, blue, and red. So that's a good ballpoint to have on hand. We've got a ruler for marking in this bullet journal to make straight lines with. And then I've got some mild liners. And these are, as before, with everything else here, as you can see, there's a theme. But I've got a plain gray just for regular highlighting. And then I've got five different colors um, for different types of um, color coding. So if I'm doing POV, like if I'm thinking about Shadowverse, I've got four different POVs in there. And these are the colors that I use. So we've got uh, Billy, who's in the... Uh, pink, we've got River in the green, we've got Logan in blue, and Savannah is a yellow color. Um, and so I know that when I'm working in my plot, um, so if we can open up any of my Shadowhurst notes, let's just open up to the last one that we had. So you can see here I have a character art for Savannah, she's marked in yellow, so color coding in here as well. And then I don't have it here, but those note cards that you saw, they were also color coded when I'm working on this book. Right now I'm working on Orchard Hollow, so in that series um, before I finish off Shadowhurst. So I don't have that in here. But that's essentially what I have in here. It's not big. I mean, I know they have utility pouches that are much, much larger. Um, and if you need more, for your plotting or just for a utility pouch, then yeah, grab those. But I find this one um, is the perfect size because honestly, if it was any bigger, um, then I would stuff it and it would be very hard for me to carry around. This has a really um, good thin profile um, and it prevents me from shoving things in there that I won't need. I carry the basics, I carry everything I need. This is already more than I could need in a plotting pouch. Um, and when I'm not out and about, this literally sits just like on my desk, somewhere on the side or in my planner card that's next to my desk and I can reach for it as I'm writing. So normally, I don't know if we can see, but I have my laptop here um, and then I would open this laptop up as I'm writing and I would have this planner pouch kind of like off to the side. And that gives me exactly what I need 
when I am drafting. So this planner pouch, while it's great for plotting, it always stays with me because as I'm drafting, I'm always referencing the plotting notebook. And then I'm using these tools as I'm drafting to replot as well. So that is my planner pouch. It's very cute. It's not sleek, <laughs> it's not cool by any means, but it's the most adorable thing I think I own. And I absolutely love it. And it is really inspiring to me because it seems silly to say, but when something is super cute, it inspires me to want to use it. And if I make my plotting pouch super cute, then I will want to be plotting. And that means that I'm always somehow working on my books and I don't have that delay, even if I'm writing. Um, it inspires me to want to create stories. And I think that's really all we can take away is if you have something in your life that inspires you to create stories, to be creative in any way, then go for it. <laughs> and this is it for me. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will see if I can link some of the, the main big pieces that I've mentioned here um, in the description. And if, um, if there's anything I haven't linked, then feel free to comment and let me know and I'll try to find a link for it. But also let me know what you have that inspires you to be creative, what items or item that you have. Um, if you have a little plotting pouch or a plotting area or plotting planner, I'd love to know what it is. So make sure you comment below and let me know. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you guys liked this video. It was a bit shorter, but I didn't want to. There's not much in here, but I did want to kind of do a, a full breakdown of it because I do love this thing so much. So thank you so much for sticking around, for watching the video. As always, I hope you guys stay magical and I will see you next week for another writing related video. Bye!